shaded and picturesque, the town of Claremont appears to be an island of calm in the vast urban sprawl of Los Angeles County. Beneath the peaceful surface, however, there is a vigorous creative pulse stirred by a diverse art community and fed by the seven institutions of higher learning that comprise the Claremont Colleges. Claremont's prominent art community gained national and international attention in the years following World War II, when the town emerged as a vital center of modern design. It was a place where artists, craftspeople, and architects mixed freely, shared ideas, and forged close friendships. Amid rustic craftsman bungalows built in the early 1900s and period revival houses constructed in the 1920s, important modern works began to appear in Claremont in the middle years of the 20th century. The architects who were attracted to Claremont read like a who's who of modern designers in Southern California. Richard Neutra worked there, as did Cliff May, Foster Rhodes Jackson, and Millard Sheets. Edward Durrell Stone was active in Claremont as well, along with Theodore Crowley Jr., Fred McDowell, and John Lautner. Signs of modern thinking in architecture are widely apparent in Claremont. They can be seen in the clean lines of homes with exposed post and beam construction and flat or low-pitched roofs. Other signs of modernity include glass walls and sliding glass doors, perforated concrete block sunscreens, carports, and the integrated atriums and patios. The mid-century modern structures in Claremont convey the ideas and values that made modern architecture popular in the post-war period. They also express the widely held belief among architects that good design can improve the quality of human life. They really took it on almost as a religious devotion. They had that commitment that it wasn't just prosaic architecture, but it was a cause to bring better living conditions to the average person. And that's an important part. It wasn't just for beautiful custom homes for those who could afford mansions. These architects were really devoted to the idea of bringing modern architecture to the average person. Major funding for Claremont Modern was provided by Howard and Roberta Amundsen and the Amundsen Foundation, the Windgate Charitable Foundation, Andy and Blenda Wright, Brent Harris, and Carolyn and Tom Owen Toll. Additional funding was provided by the following individuals.